good afternoon book lovers of the internet welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here make sure to subscribe because for every subscriber i get a new subscriber and i also read a page from a book of my choice so in today's video i am going to be reviewing this poem called the mo the morning after i killed myself by meggie royer so hopefully youtube doesn't remove this video for saying the phrase kill myself because i know there are some sort some guidelines which might prevent me from doing so but it is part of a poem which i really love so i am first going to read the poem then i'm going to be sharing my thoughts over here so this is the way it begins the morning after i killed myself i woke up i made myself breakfast in bed i added salt and pepper to my eggs and used my toast for a cheese and bacon sandwich i squeezed the grapefruit into a juice glass I scraped the ashes from the frying pan and rinsed the butter off the counter. I washed the dishes and folded the towels. The morning after I killed myself, I fell in love. Not with the boy down the street or the middle school principal, not with the everyday jogger or the grocer who always left the avocados out of the bag. I fell in love with my mother and the way she sat on the floor of my room holding each rock from my collection in her palms until they grew dark with sweat. I fell in love with my father down at the river, as he placed my note into a bottle and sent it into the current, with my brother, who once believed in unicorns, but who now sat in his desk at school, trying desperately to believe I still existed. The morning after I killed myself, I walked the dog. I watched the, wo the way her tail twitched when a bird flew by or how her pace quickened at the sight of a cat. I saw the empty space in her eyes when she reached a stick and turned around to greet me so we could play catch, but saw nothing but sky in my place. I stood by as the stranger stroked her muzzle, and she wilted beneath their touch like she did once for mine. The morning after I killed myself, I went back to the neighbor's yard, where I left my footprints in concrete as a two-year-old and examined how they were already fading. I picked a few daylilies and pulled a few weeds and watched the elderly woman through her window, as she read the paper with the news of my death. I saw her husband spit tobacco in the kitchen sink and bring her her daily medication. The morning after I killed myself, I watched the sun come up. Each orange tree opened like a hand, and the kid down the street pointed out a single red cloud to his mother. The morning after I killed myself, I went back to that body in the morgue and tried to talk some sense into her. I told her about the avocados and the stepping stones, the river and her parents. I told her about the sunsets, and the dog, and the beach. The morning after I killed myself, I tried to unkill myself, but couldn't finish what I started. So this was a very emotional poem for me to read, very powerful as well. And um, I just want to start off by saying that suicide is of course not a joke, and it is indeed a very powerful poem which speaks of how killing yourself might be a solution However, it is a permanent one to a temporary problem, so that is a very beautiful quote I read several times, and suicide is a solution, but a permanent one to a temporary problem, so it isn't the right mindset, and the persona realizes how much she regrets her actions only after it is too late, and it is harrowing to read the final few verses, so have the morning after I killed myself, I tried to unkill myself, but couldn't finish what I started, I think that is a very powerful and ironic couple of verses because the, it is eye-opening to say the least that she did finish what she started and that was her attempt to kill herself but she never did see what life completely had to offer and the retrospect in this poem reminded me of Passenger's song the one called Let Her Go that one isn't necessarily about suicide but it has the same kind of um, thought process I would say and Usually, um, it is it is a piece filled with regret, and usually, a person would not get the chance to ponder upon life in such a way um, when dying. However, um, Roger here, not Roger, rather Royer, sorry, the the author, she is giving the persona this opportunity and creates a truly unique and thought-provoking perspective, and that is what I especially liked about this poem. I haven't read many poems where there is this sort of perspective from a dead person looking back upon his life and regretting the fact that they kill themselves. So it is something which I think is a very beautiful, um, regardless of it being um, saddening and depressing even, but it is a very unique perspective. And 
This poem did shake me to the bone, and especially as a person who went through several mental health issues, especially a couple of years ago, but I suppose I wasn't alone over there. Um, I would like to say that if you are going through some problem psychologically, if you're watching this and you have, if you have watched this video this far, it, it always does get better, I promise. So there is never really a point for you to give up on yourself and give up on life. It always does get better. Just please live, <laughs> please continue living. And without the horrible moments in our lives, we'd never be able to experience the truly great ones. So life is filled with ups and downs. And without the... Without the downs, I believe that we wouldn't be able to fully embrace the ups, so they are a, an integral part of our lives, even though they make us miserable, and the best thing you can do is to appreciate the things that make you sad, so that then when there is something that genuinely makes you happy, you will appreciate it even more. It is a way to combat uh, depression or sadness even, and happiness is, after all, something that stems from within. It is something that only you can create, and it also helps to fully embrace the small moments in life rather than always being so ambitious always thinking that you have to um, own the entire world. It is the small things which make you the most happy and if you put this to practice you will immediately figure this out but basically stay positive is the message of this poem and this unique perspective is one which as I've been saying as I said multiple times is eye-opening and I hope you found my reading of this poem to be thought-provoking as well to give you some some food for thought and I, I hope that it makes you appreciate life even more than maybe you already do, because I want this to be a platform where there is a lot of optimism, a lot of positivity, and a lot of good vibes. So I rated this one 4 out of 5 stars for the reason that it is a very simple poem with a very powerful message, and I really love the repetition of the phrase, the morning I killed myself, because it creates a pathway into your mind that helps you to continue thinking about it long after you're done with it so yeah that's basically all i had to say about this poem if you enjoyed this video make sure to like comment share subscribe the usual stuff thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one very very soon bye guys